Iceland's meteorological office has started to measure the sulfur dioxide, specifically for the condition of the Reykjanes Peninsula. At the moment, we have the sulfur dioxide from the uh, volcanoes in the Kamchatka of Russia, including Kryachevska. But the magma that we have there at a the depth of the less than five kilometers has a lot of gas in form of uh, basalt. We see these bubbles there in the magma when they erupt as a lava. These gases, uh, eventually, if they come in contact with the atmosphere and we inhale them, they can cause some harm. But the most important thing is that when the lava, in this case near the Grindavik, comes in contact with the oceanic water, with the seawater, any water, it can create uh, kind of toxic gases. For example, hydrochloric acid. This is an acid which is new, usually exists in the earth crack as salt, as chloride, the mineral chloride. It survives the high temperatures within the earth mantle and can erupt with the volcanoes, magma, as lava. And when it comes to the water, contact with the water, it just dissolves in the water. Also hot steam and uh, volcanic uh, glass can cause harm to the people when the lava comes in contact to the seawater. Also, people have suffered from the heated water when they are in contact with it. Uh, most important is that hydrochloric acid can cause a condition in the lungs when it is, is inhaled called popcorn lung. For obvious reason that the symptoms when looked under microscope, the bronchoid looks like a popcorn. You may get it from other things, including some of the e-cigarettes with some uh, strange flavorings. Which makes this very interesting. The lava haze or lays is kind of similar to e-cigarette or any kind of cigarette that you inhale into your lung. So I'm, I'm surprised that people are not worried about that as much.